Welcome to Lounge TV, I'm Larry, and today I'm just gonna do a little vlog on uh, some stuff that's going on. Look, is this amazing or what, Tom? Do you smell chickens? Vaguely. Do you really? A little bit. Oh, I don't smell any chickens. I mean, you're probably more used to it than I am. I still got some stuff to do, guys. I gotta put up a shelf back here still. Probably more than one shelf I'll put up. Um, this right here just came in the other day. That's more Aspen wood chips for the chickens. I got some boxes to throw away. I want to do some organizing in here still, but I actually can walk in this, and that's what I like. And I yeah, took, you have a floor again. I took the light down that was hanging here because I hit my head on it about 10 times, and I was like, why am I not taking this thing down? <laughs> so I took it down finally. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys something that's pretty funny. Um, because I have one of my security cameras over there by the chickens right now, I saved this. Of course, it's not on my phone now. And let's see if I can remember how to get to that. Uh, I think I went to this. And then I went to this. No, that wasn't it. Uh, do you remember what, how I got there, Tom? Huh? Do you remember how I got it last time? Yeah, you went to, into the app. Okay. And you tapped on me in the bottom right. Oh, I just did that. Yeah, and then there should be one thing that's like screenshots and videos. Oh, yeah, that's it. I want to show you guys Did you get two-thirds of the way there and then stop? Yeah, here you go guys, yeah. watch this. So I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, what's going on here? All the guys are running away and I'm just here by myself. Uh, hmm, was that? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> it's just, the, it. the way that they run cracks me up and it's like they, they all of a sudden get scared for no, it could have been like a car going by the side road or something like that because I noticed they, they get spooked pretty easily. Uh, I fed him some worms earlier. If Tom was out here, he would have saw it, got to see that, and you guys would have saw it on camera. Um, I don't feel like going digging for worms again. I got like 10 of them earlier. Well, if it was that easy to find them, then why not? Because it's not that easy. I looked under almost every rock I could think of back then. But uh, let's, let's check in on the girls. That Pretty nice day again today. Huh? Pretty nice day again today. Yeah, and if, if the blue sky would just come over here so that the sun would come out, it'd be even warmer. But it's like, uh, I came out here. Oh, by the way, Tom should videotape me one time trying to get these girls back into their house because it's a freaking nightmare. If anybody has tips on how you can get them in that house a little bit easier. Somebody said about snacks. So yesterday I gave them, they love hard boiled eggs, right? And I cut it all up and I put it in the house three of them went right in the house after it but three of them wouldn't and uh nugget was the orn ornery one so i told her she's gonna be a sandwich pretty soon she keeps it up <laughs> but uh i just wish it was easier i mean maybe yeah i guess they have to get trained to get in there but it's like i just wish that they would cooperate be a trained already yeah because well it, it's not tall enough in there for me to be standing under there but yeah no, you sure are. about that <laughs> but they, uh, here, yeah, here they are. See, They're a lot calmer. See, they all come over to me now. Yeah, you come over to me now. Yeah, because you think I have a worm in my hand, don't you? Yeah. So you were the one, the troublemaker yesterday. But see, they, they think you have food. That's why they come. Tom backed up like he was scared, like they were going to come out flying out of the cage at him. I'm backing up to get a better shot. Over here. No, I'm over here. I'm over here. And now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. <laughs> oh, one went in the house. Did you see that? I did. Oh, and then they're back out. But they, they seem to me like they're way more happier now that they're outside. And I can't wait to build the bigger. Today I, I actually drew it all out and everything and, and wrote down what the uh, things that I'm going to need to actually build the other part of their their uh, pen but I'm not doing that until springtime because um, it needs to be a little bit warmer than this out here and plus there's plenty of room for them right now and the reason why I want to do it in the spring they're acting up the reason why I want to do it in the springtime because guess what guess what I did Tom what'd you do I might have did a thing okay now you have me a little worried I might have did a thing um, in uh, 
April sometime. Um, we're getting six more. I already ordered them. But look at these girls, ain't they pretty? Ain't they pretty? As much difficulty as you're having with these six and you want to double it? Ah, uh, they're not that much of a problem. I have difficulty. They're in the... Look at it. Oh, now the sun's out. Now it feels nice and warm, don't it? It does. Nothing like 60 degrees in January. But, uh, yeah, they're going to have some sisters. So, uh, these chickens that, uh, that I just uh, ordered are going to be coming in in April when they get born. Or hatched, rather. And uh, they're supposed to be very friendly chickens. Like, these are considered friendly chickens. These are supposed to be considered very friendly chickens. Uh-huh. Yeah, they come up and they, they put their wing out and say, Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm sure they do, and they're not just going to run around in a panic like these ones do all the time. But look, now we'll have an even dozen. Dozen eggs. I don't think they only lay one egg at a time. Well, I'm just saying. Well, they usually, from what I read, is like, these are like three to four eggs each a week. And okay. The, and the other ones are, I think, two to four okay so maximum like egg production we're looking at what four each uh four dozen no. what are we gonna do with four dozen eggs a week well if we did get four dozen oh uh, we got plenty of people with one eggs already they all everybody's been already saying like i'll take some i'll take some i'll take some i don't know how much you charge them well we'll only have to charge them if times get bad you know you're just giving these people eggs after you've, you've spent all this money on coops and food and you're buying more chickens? You're not even charging anybody for them? I'm not charging anybody. Not, not if they're family and stuff. I'm not charging them for eggs. I'll tell them to pick me up a bag of feed. That's, I mean, a, that's, that's a pretty good swap, isn't it? That, yeah, okay. That, that's fine. That's at least still like, you know, they're giving stuff for the chickens to maintain them. But yeah, so... Uh... Yeah, I, I can't wait to get the new one so I can raise them up again. They're the little tiny cute little chicks and then they grow up. Uh-huh. What? Look at how healthy they are. Look at them. They're all happy. The only time they're not happy is getting back into the house at nighttime. I have the, wind, I have the thing open, the, the side thing, just to air it out right now during the day. That's probably not a bad idea. But uh, it's obviously, it's really nice for them to be outside today. But it's like yesterday wasn't as, as warm as today or the other day. And they're still hanging out outside. So I, I don't think they have a problem with that, with the temperatures right now. So, and you figure the next ones I'm getting in, and they're supposed to be good and cold and hot the next, next batch that I'm getting. But uh, they uh, supposedly are the, the way that you, by the time I get them and they're eight weeks at April, May... Sometime in end of May, beginning of June, I'll be putting them out with these girls. And these will be their older sisters. Their big, older, bossy sisters. Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. Aren't you excited? Um... What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because, I, like I said, as much... Like, like that, that one change was like looking at, looking at you like, what? What do you mean you're getting more? So... It was kind of funny. So yesterday, I'm outside smoking some chicken legs and uh, and thighs on the grill. Yeah, this came out good, by the way. And the smoke was coming over this way. So I told him, I said, "Yeah, keep it up. That's where you're gonna wind up if you start acting up." But it's like, and yet, I, despite saying that, you want to get more. I well, I think they actually in would be like, oh, we would eat that. I think they would devour a chicken. Yeah, I, I, I don't, definitely think they. I don't would. know how much they would care about cannibalism no i think they they would definitely eat chicken and especially if it was cooked but you don't want to give them raw chicken because then they would definitely be looking at each other like uh, a meal but the, i i love them i i could sit out here and watch them for hours i'm gonna have a little chair out here i'll set a chair a little chair right here with a little table for my beer and maybe over there so i can stare at the chickens and the woods at the same time yeah, and then you'll sit out here for about 20 seconds and be like, all right, it's too cold coming back in. Well, not, I'm talking about when it's warm, Tom, not when it's cold. Well, you got to specify that. And, you know, speaking of that, I wanted to ask you a question, like, what's up with the wood? Well, it's a little hard for me to split wood when, you know, we're out of the house. 
we're out of the out of a house what when we were well i know that but it's still there it hasn't went anywhere and it hasn't got split yet and today's like a beautiful day so it's like the perfect day to i'll pull it over there if you want and start it today eh, i'm not feeling it what what do you mean you're not feeling it well like how you feel that you want to get more chickens i'm not feeling i'm not feeling getting you're not feeling it, it. Well, yeah. how are you gonna start feeling like it, Tom? Huh? Why are you approaching me menacingly? <laughs> because you're getting on my nerves that you're not. 